Minister, allow me to express my joy that there is a right-wing alliance in Italy, or at least in the final strait of, of forming a government, and that means that uh, Mr Salvini will be able to play his role as one of the uh, guarantors of European uh, identity, and we also welcome the fact that there's a centre-right uh, alliance uh, being uh, formed uh, in Sweden with the support of the uh, Sweden Democrats in order to uh, uh, have a return to normality in that country and in Hungary. I know you don't like to hear this, but in Hungary too, uh, uh, you know, the, you have to respect democracy. You have an absolute majority uh, uh, looming for uh, Viktor Orban, uh, trying to correct many, many of the mistakes that are made here. And uh, with a stronger uh, AFD in Germany and the Vox Party in Spain, uh, Europe is at a turning point, and I think this is a good thing. And I really wonder why, when the Council holds meetings discussing Ukraine and Russia, uh, sweep other issues under the carpet, which is illegal migration. This year, more than 400,000 uh, people have sought asylum on European soil. That's um, a huge increase since last year. Since 2005, more than 6 million people have applied for asylum uh, in Europe. That's more than the population of Ireland. And yet we know that two-thirds of these asylum seekers uh, will not receive the status of uh, um, uh, refugee. Um, but nonetheless, uh, those two-thirds will stay on European soil. I'm winding up now. Uh, the the right-wing alliances in Europe are trying to close those gates of Europe. Uh, thank you. Thank you. The next speaker is Mr. Fidanza.